Hello and welcome to Hydra Center. My name is Scott and I'm here to show you some spider mite. Now spider mites are very small. Apologise for the shakiness of the camera but I'm actually at maximum magnification to try and capture these buggers all moving around. So if I move my hand over here, there it is. There they are moving around there. Um, let's see if I can get a... F There's a bit of... You can see them moving around there. That's why it's probably good to have a magnification, uh, like a jeweler's loop, we sell those. But if you get these guys, they suck the sap out of the leaves. So if I just move over here, you can see a, like a bronzing effect on the leaf. They've actually sucked the sap out. And it takes a lot of numbers to damage plants, but when you notice they've got a problem, it can be pretty devastating. So, what you need to do is spray. Now I usually say don't spray unless you need them. These guys are crippling to a crop, so... I always recommend spraying. Um, now most sprays have no effect on these guys. Well, Joel's going out of focus there. Most sprays have no effect uh, because you might kill the adults but the eggs hatch out the next day and they seem to just never be able to break the cycle. So what you should use is a product we use called Killamite. Killamite uh, for uh, a 100 ml bottle, a 1 ml per litre sprayed on and the spider mite will be gone. Uh, that kills the eggs as well as the adults. Now if I zoom back out to give you some idea of size, again that's my hand there, and then see if you can see how big these guys are. You probably won't spot them until they've got a lot of numbers, but be aware that this sort of thing does happen. And we have an answer called Kilomite, so that's my recommendations.